Here's another example of what I call a Winograd spiculectomy. This very nice lady was referred to me in January 2023. She'd had a Zadig nail procedure, a total nail procedure done some years before, done very well. But unfortunately, she had had some recurrent nail tissue regrowing the medial sulcus. As we zoom in on that photo, there's not really much to look at, but it was sore and very difficult to get a phenol swab in there to try and phenolize. So I thought, well, this was a really an ideal case for um, an incisional technique. She's a very nervous lady, so she put her trust in me to have this done under local anesthesia. So we're going to join the action at the procedure itself because I, I took a minute to get a normal, so I didn't want to video that part of the procedure just to not add to her stresses and strains. So, shall we start? Okay, so. This young lady had, um, how long ago was it you had the nail surgery? Two, five? Five years ago. Okay, I think it was about, I think it was five. So this young lady's had a Zadig procedure done at local DGH by our orthopaedic colleagues, done really well. Just been unlucky in getting um, a little bit of a spiculectomy in this medial sulcus so it's just a little bit sore well it's more than a bit sore isn't it Chuck? it's really quite sore for you so we're going to do a little winograd spiculectomy now you join us halfway through the match we've already done a little bit of low clam aesthetic my lady is not the bravest person i've had all week in that we wanted to get the local anaesthetic shot, sh shots in nice and quick. Are we still in shot there, Chucky? You've got to look at the video. I can't see it. Yeah. All right, cool. So we are going to use our 15 blade for this. And basically do what effectively is a winograd spiculectomy-ish. I'm not sure it's really got a name, this procedure, but that's probably about the nearest we can do. So we'll start off with a little tourniquet. So, local anaesthetics in, I put four mils in, two mils per toe. I tested a minute ago, we've already prepped the skin before the local anaesthetic. We've re-prepped just then, so she's nice and clean. It's, it's, just, it's been a clean wound, it's not been infected, it's just been sore for, as I say, a few years. So, and I'm just going to do a little bit of rattling on the side, excuse me guys. So you can't see, but we've got some instruments off to one side. Laura, are you still in shot there, Chucky Egg? Yeah. Alrighty, so I'm just going to test again. Any sharpness in there at all? No. All nice and done. Hoorah. Okay, so our route will be coming to a back here. There's our previous scar. So you want to make sure you're coming back far enough. So tip the blade in, down to B-O-N-E. Come through. Now that actually is a little bit naily there. So just at that point there, it's a bit more nail than, than skin. All the way down to, and then we want to come far enough medially. Now you'll notice I'm using a slight soaring action, which is actually appropriate for these. And again, making sure mm, that fell feels a bit suspicious there. So that's where I think we might have a bit of nail tissue. Laura, are you okay with that in Chucky Egg? Yeah. You sure? Mm -hmm. Now, if you faint, will you tell me? Yeah. Okay. My colleague is just next door and she's just listening in. But she's got a meeting with a cup of coffee. Urgent meeting. She was just called away. She said, if we don't finish off all the milk, it will go off. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> so, I'm staying down onto bone, guys. And this is on that most medial side where it looks a bit, so at this point here where it looks a bit naily. So let's have a little scoop in there and see what we see. Now I've got small loop curette. The, and these are the Shazley. These are really sharp. And these are what you want to use to get anything that is suspicious. That's down on bone. So on the lateral side, we are neat. Just in there. So I'm actually going to come back in with the 15 and just inspect that. 
Yeah, that is a little bit suspicious of nail. So that's the bit we want to get out there. And I've done a couple of these. I've seen them like proper little icebergs in there. And you just need to get all that tissue out. They can really go an awfully long way, medially and obviously all laterally. But the procedure done by my colleagues of a very good standard, in no way critical. This Zadik procedure is actually quite a fiddly procedure, really. It's not not the easiest. It's, you know, the, the papers, the literature tells us it's about 60 to 80 percent effective, which is not brilliant odds. It is obviously a favourite of general surgeons and some orthopaedic surgeons. Phenol is a better procedure. That looks now virtually clean as a whistle. There's just those little bits. And you, what you go into the side, you almost go into some slight ligamentous tissue at the side there. It's sometimes difficult to tell what's um, nail root, nail matrix, bit of scar or ligament. And for those nail nerds out there, the extensor lucis longus tendon is actually underneath the nail bed and goes to the tip of the toe. So you've actually got nail and nail bed on top of the tendon. So we're going to close that. It's fairly clean, doesn't need an irrigation, that's fine. So we're going to close just with a little bit of suture, 4 proline, which is a suture of choice, not to be confused with... <clears throat> The woman that ran off with Dolly Parsons' husband, of course, that was Jolene. So I'm just going to do, I think, probably simple interrupted sutures there, I think. So, Laurie, it's all out. Yeah. No sign of any, re, re, I think I've got all the root out. There was a little bit down the side. So I think we have, we've got a reason as to why you were still having problems. Okay. The work that had been done before was really good. Just unlucky and getting a little bit growing back. I thought it was probably a bit deeper. Yeah, it was actually fairly way in. And so, you know, I do quite a few of these, so I'm not without a degree of experience, but I think we've got it all out. And a little low, a bit too quick, the needler. We'll put a couple of stitches in. He was probably sutured before because it's a, it's a surgical wound, so it needs pulling together with a little bit of suture material. Now, it is a little sore when the anaesthetic wears off. Do you have my mobile number? No. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Even got a laugh out of you. I thought I was going to struggle today. I know you're a little bit nervous. You will have. Questions? What can I tell you, Smiler? Um... I've got the pain, pain Should be sufficient, pain. yeah. It'll be a little bit sore, should be sufficient. Yeah. It is a bit more sore than our sort of standard. Oh, I'll let that and one I get away from me. Yeah, keep it up. Yeah. Oh, I'm struggling with that suture. Don't look at that suture, guys. I'm not looking down. No, no, no. I did a rubbish job on that one. There you go. Put the two throws in there. There you go. Um, it can be a little bit sore. Um, and most of the soreness comes from the scraping to kind of scrape all the, the root out. Um, but it's now nice and neat. Please tell me we're still in shot because if I've missed all this, I'll have to redo it. No, it's we're still in shot. It's good. I'd hate to bring you back just to redo it just for the camera. <laughs> and we are mostly, you can see we're about 90% closed there. And the last little bit will heal in by secondary intention. So that's nice and tight there and then just as a suture pedant of course we want to just get those little tags out so just a little bit of um, being a fusser a little touch of OCD and then what we can do is we'll just bring all those knots just across to one side okay and do you know what I might even give them a little shave just because so that's our nice neat wound I'm going to put a little bit of antiseptic on just so it don't not bleed. 
Um, no allergies at all, are the lorry, you're okay with ID? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna put a bit of bit of inidine on. As much as anything, it's really for the fact it's non-stick, so that doesn't stick to the wound. We leave the stitches in normally about week, 10 days. Uh -huh, get away, there you go, it is non-stick. So having covered the wound, this is now when I looks for scissors. This is when I take the tourniquet off and then I can check at the end of the toe for the vascularization. Might get a little bit of pins and needles as the blood just rushes back, Lord. Okay, so that's all out, that's all out, that's all out. <coughs> you were fabulous. You told me you were nervous, you were brilliant. Mum will be proud. Now, would you like an I've Been Brave badge? <laughs> Please say no, because I haven't got any. And then we're going to put on one of my patented BFO dressings, because it can bleed a little bit. But that's gone super nice. Um, nice, neat wound, so I'm as pleased as I can be for that. So um, what we'll do, we'll review the vid, and if it looks nice, we might use that for a bit of teaching, with your permission. Yeah. Let's just get that on. Bits of suture. Any other questions, Smiler? If you're doing okay. Brilliant. You're a little bit pale and interesting, but so am I. So we'll, we'll do you a nice drink, then we'll let you. Uh, we'll let you. Uh, we'll let you down, and we'll just get you back to your mum in a bit. Awesome. Right. Let's stop the video there. This is when I realise I've not started it. God, ten minutes already. I'm just going to zoom in on the section that I took out. So this was the the main section of recurrent nail I took out with the 15 blade with the curette to scale. So um, 320 lip shape all the way down to bone. You can see it goes quite deep and you'll see from the video I went back in with the 15 blade and then the curette again to make sure it was as clean as I could make it. But they are quite a size and I do think with those smaller spikes it's just really difficult to get a phenol swab in there okay don't move we're recording so we are now 10 days after the procedure yeah so did that on the friday 10 days ago we did a change of dressing for you at ooh, five days so we're now Coming up to yeah, 10 days. And Laurie, you said you had to change the dressing because you got wet. That happens. That happens. Let's just check you're still in shot. No. There you go. God, that looks bonny, does that? How does it feel? You said it was giving you a little bit of bit of a nag. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to get those stitches out for you, Smiler, okay? Don't pull a face. Oh, no, you can pull a face. You're wearing a mask. Don't hyperventilate either. Okay. So healed really nicely. What we'll do, we'll do a, a follow-up later in the year just to check that there's no sign of any recurrence of any scar tissue or nail. Make sure that that's all stayed nice and pain-free. How are you doing, Chuck? You all right? Yeah. Sure. Alrighty, let me just check you still in shot. I don't know if I missed all that. Yeah, pretty good. Righty. I'm just going to do a couple of close-up shots now, and then I'll do a piece to camera. Wow, that looks lovely. Right. I'll stop that video there, my dear, because I'm going to do a couple of stills now. Okay, so we're going to start this for about the third time. So Laurie's back now. She is post Weinegrad spiculectomy, which we've done in this medial sulcus here. So you can see from that early video that we've done an ellipse of the spike all the way down to bone. And that, uh, we were just chatting before we did the video. In fact, we've done about three versions of the video this morning. So Laurie was, was sore for about two weeks afterwards, then it's healed. So we've done a, a four month review today. Completely no sign of any nail, nice, no, normal, neat scar there. This was done years and years ago, um, an old Zadic procedure, but a really nice result. So this is a really good option for those cheeky little spikes that just grow back where you can't easily get a phenol swab in. Thanks again, Smile. I appreciate that.
and there's a close-up you can really see it's not it's not that much better looking than the original picture about 15 and a half minutes ago because it really wasn't much to see it was about how it felt for the patient but she was delighted had a really good result and she was as i mentioned right at the beginning she was ever so nervous and the last thing she said before she left was really thank you for looking after me and those are the those are the sort of cases that make it all worthwhile thanks for the video laurie hope you enjoy it and i will do another one soon cheers guys